The ripple effect of the coronavirus can be felt in so many areas of our lives, especially our bank accounts. The University of Texas at Tyler understands the economic impact of COVID-19, and that's why they're reaching out to help students who need to afford college by extending the financial aid deadline for the fall 2020 semester. UT Tyler President Dr. Michael Tidwell joins us this afternoon. First of all, thanks so much for being here. I want to jump right into this. There is a lot of uncertainty about higher education these days, so what's the outlook at UT Tyler. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to, to share a few details about what's going on on campus and in the broader higher educational uh, industry. Uh, the outlook is very positive. Uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of students who are really looking forward to getting back to normal. Uh, they're excited to uh, be back on campus this coming fall semester uh, taking courses. Uh, certainly the fall semester will look a little bit different than it did maybe last uh, fall semester, we'll be practicing social distancing and uh, using PPE where, where necessary. Uh, but we are really, really excited for uh, the fall semester. It'll be a great time uh, back on the UT Tyler campus. So let's talk a little bit about that financial aid that we, meant, we mentioned. You're extending the deadline, is that correct? That is correct. It's uh, really a, a great opportunity for uh, students to take advantage of uh, resources that have been donated from uh, local families who uh, understand the financial pressure that so many East Texas students are, are currently dealing with, whether it's due to a, a loss of job or maybe a parent has, has lost a job or, or had reduced hours. Uh, we want to make sure uh, that uh, students who uh, want a very high caliber UT education have access to that education right here in East Texas. And we all know that education is really important. Why is it even more important right now? Uh, it's always been important, as you noted. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of federal and even state data that uh, that looks at uh, the earning power, for example, of those uh, with a baccalaureate or, or even a master's degree. And, and, uh, and when you take a look at that data, it suggests that those with a baccalaureate degree over the course of their lifetime will earn uh, about a million dollars more uh, in terms of overall earning power. If you have a master's degree or better, you're looking at upwards of $5 million or more earning power uh, over your lifetime. So uh, your education is one of the most important investments uh, you will ever make. It never decreases in value. Every single year, uh, you see an uptick in the value of your education. And uh, here at UT Tyler, again, because of the philanthropy of so many local families, we have additional scholarship dollars now. So the financial investment that a student has to make uh, for this coming fall semester is a lot less uh, than it may have been otherwise. Well, speaking of the fall semester, is it too late for students who haven't applied yet and are thinking about, you know, I do want to go to college this coming fall and UT Tyler is interesting to me. But there's still plenty of time to uh, apply to UT Tyler. As you noted a few moments ago, uh, we have certainly extended our financial financial aid deadline. We've also uh, extended our uh, deadline for application to Tyler as well. Uh, there have been a number of issues with SAT testing, ACT testing, for example. So for incoming freshmen, we have waived the SAT, ACT requirement to UT Tyler, as long as you have a decent GPA and, and hit a number of other uh, important metrics that can be found on our website. But we want to make sure that we are accessible for our, our young, very uh, talented East Texas students uh, they, that, again, want to go on and achieve a, a baccalaureate or a master's uh, level qualification. Uh, and so we're taking every measure possible uh, to ensure that they have access uh, to a great education. Well, I know that that's such good information and, you know, really promising for these students who have been kind of uh, up in the air right now with everything that's going on and not knowing what's next. So I appreciate you sort of laying all that out for us this afternoon. Thanks so much. Thank you.